Next, you need to check for the blood tearing resistance of the connections. Based on the arrangements of the boot hole here, the blood tearing failure is likely to fail in this manner, where here we we'll undergo the shear plane, while here we we'll undergo the tensile failure. Referring to this figure, the failure here is likely to be in the mode of the symmetrical bulk groups. Therefore, this equation is being used as outlined here. In the equation here, there are FU, which is the ultimate stress of the plate which is equal to 430 as refers to table 3.1 There are partial factors of safety which can be referred from this table as 1.25 and 1.0 There is FY which is equal to the grade of the steel plate 275 and there are two effective areas. The ANT refers to the effective area for the tensions. AMV refers to the effective area for the shear plan. To determine the ANT, you need to quantify the distance here, multiply the thickness of the plate. This effective distance is equal to P2, which is measured from the center of the boat to another center of the boat. This P2 needs to be minus with the diameter of the boat hole, half on one side, another half on the other side. With that, the solid distance between the bolt holes times the thickness of the steel plate will give you A and T. Next, you will need to find the effective shear area A and V. To determine the A and V, you will need to find the effective area for one side first. It is obtained by having the HP the total height of the plate minus E1 which is in this distance the E1 here is measured from the center of the bolt hole having the HP minus E1 the effective length it will be equal to this you will need to minus the diameters of the bolt hole 3 complete bolt hole plus half of the bolt hole here that give you 3.5 D naught the size of the bolt hole is determined by the size of the bolt which is equals to 20 plus a tolerance of 2 mm based on the clearance given with that the effective length of the shear plan is to be multiplied with the thickness of the plate and multiplied with 2 because you have 2 shear plan here that gives you the total A and V substitute into the equation here you will obtain the blood tearing capacity as 656.3 kN and the last item for this connection is the frictional resistance if the pre-stressed boot is being used in this case normal boot is being used therefore you do not need to check for this